<laughs> in Cuba, we didn't have a lot of toys or a lot of things to play with. So most of our experiences were like adventures. I'm always very curious. And a lot of it was dreaming. I dream of what I was going to be when I was big. The whole Mariel boat lift for a 12 year old, it was an adventure. I mean, I got to live on a boat for nine days and wasn't worried about anything else. And there was no question on whether we had options to stay, not stay, but we just go. That has triggered into how I think about, you know, business decisions. Let's just go. I was always grateful for the risk and the effort that my parents made to bring me here, like many immigrant families. So gratitude drives me a lot. If you don't play dominoes, you're not Cuban. If you don't eat roast pig, you're not Cuban. And if you don't dance salsa, you're not Cuban. But at the same time, we're very grateful to have had the opportunity to be in America, to be a US citizen, and to embrace American culture. We embrace both. I think it's one of the things that has allowed me professionally to be successful. I can think and process information and behave like an American, but at the same time, I can have the, the cultural connection with the Hispanics or the Latins. You need to surround yourself with people that have different experiences, different point of views. That's what makes a high performance team is you have diversity of thoughts and that you communicate constantly so you work as one. Leadership is about getting people to follow an idea, a dream, or an adventure. Let's just go.